Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video and today we're checking the trade offers on seven of our players and we got 81 active trade offers. So that's a crap ton. Uh, from what I know, it's kind of spread out on some of the players like Matt Duchesne has 17 and only Carlson only has three, but it's all expected, right? Anyways, uh, there's going to be more popular players than others. So I'm going to start from beginning all the way till end and I'm going to do one at a time because I don't exactly know the values. I don't plan on checking 80 different uh, trade offers, I guess, and seeing what their values are. So we're just going to get right into it. I have not checked the trade offers yet and it's going to be pretty exciting. So first of all, Pavel Datsuk, I put him up for 45k. He's on the off wing, um, so we're going to have to see. He's not really off wing. I put him on the uh, left wing position spot, but... Anyways, first offer here, Daniel Sedin, Craig Anderson, Shattenkirk, and Ham Hughes. Um, four players, I don't think that's even worth 20k, so I'm going to have to reject that just because I know that there are some better offers in here. And then we got right here, Victor Hedman and 29k. And honestly, I, I really like Victor Hedman, so I will delay that. Brendan Gallagher, Eddie Lack, and Voracek, I know Gallagher is doing pretty well in the playoffs right now, but uh, his card does not go for 45k, I don't think, so I can reject that for now. Uh, Victor Hedman, next offer, Patrick Sharp, Latang, Pavelski, and Bacchus. Um, I haven't done one of these trade uh, days in a while, but uh, from what I know, the four items for one card I don't exactly like, so I'm going to reject that as well. Uh, the Sharp, Latang, Pavelski, Bacchus, they are all good cards, but they don't add up to Pavelski's value. I don't really want to sell um, Pavel, or all those players instead of just selling a Pavel Dadzik, right? Uh, but next up, Yuri Hoodler, David Krejci, and 5,000 coins. Um, I don't know how much Hoodler is, the Winter Classic one. I can't imagine he's going for too much. Then next up, we got Peter Mrazek, one of the Player of the Game cards that just came out. Thomas Vanek and 3.5. So is Mrazek going for 45k? I, I don't think so. I'm going to reject that straight up. Uh, I would imagine he's maybe at least 10 to 20k maybe. A little bit more expensive maybe. Not exactly sure. But a Ginla, Yuri Hoodler, 89 overall, 88 overall. Two special cards. Uh, I'm not too interested in Iggy, so I'm going to reject that deal. Uh, I'm going to reject the first Hoodler deal as well, because I'm not too interested. The Team of the Year one's already out. I can't imagine the Winter Classic one's going for too much as well. But the 29k in Hedman's pretty good. Backstrom in 30k is a little bit less than the Hedman deal. Uh, <laughs> and then we got 87,000 coins and Rick the Dick Nash. Who of you sent this in? I don't know exactly who it is, but I'll delay it. I think we know which one's the leading offer. Tyler Sagan, Latang, and Couture. Also a very good offer as well. Pretty much spot on with money. But Rick Nash in 87k, it's definitely a donation. I did not get a message from whoever sent this. So thank you very much, dude. Uh, this will definitely help my hot roulette a shit ton. So thank you very much, man. I'll accept that offer. Datsuk's still a very great player. I know you could have probably bought two Datsuk for the price of that. But uh, anyways, we're going to move on uh, to the next player here. We're going to move on to Matt Duchesne with 17 trade offers. And then we're going to move on to Bergeron. So let me just switch over. Give me a sec. All right, so we're moving on to the next player here, Matt Duchesne. I'm going to try doing a few more of those cuts right after I finish a player. I feel like the videos will be a little bit more higher quality if I can keep a train of thought there. But next up is Matt Duchesne. He's worth about 80k. And we got here Ray Bork, Miku Koivu, and Logan Couture. I don't think Ray Bork is going for too much, but I will delay it. And next offer is Giroux, Fleury, and Nash. That is definitely not bad as well. Kevin Shattenkirk we can reject. Then comparing to the first offer, I don't want Ray Bork, especially trying to sell him in the market right now. Probably not the best time I pick him up. Uh, Spezza, Fleury, Bailey, and a Dejurgen Hockey. Uh, no thanks for that. I'm not sure if Bailey goes for a lot or something, but uh, no thanks for that. Hoodler, Spezza, Streit, and Miller. Once again, just players I'm not too interested in for Matthew Shane. I'm going to reject that, sorry. Uh, next up, Jack Johnson, Ryan Kessler. I know Johnson's going for around 20k to 30k with Kessler. Just does not add up to the 80k there, so apologize about that. Uh, Anse Kopitar and Pacioretty, once again, just not the greatest players for Matthew Shane. Uh, Chris Tang and Giroux. So many offers here. Thank you guys so much. Chris Tang, Giroux. I'm going to reject that as well, just because the first offer is a little bit better uh, than the other one. Derek Stepan, Talbot, Chris Kreider, and Pavelski. We got a New Jersey, or a New York, what am I saying? New York Rangers lineup here. Uh, they're all boosted a little bit, but I'm not interested in any of those guys. Stepan might be worth a little bit more, but still. Kreider, he probably has a plus five all boost on him, and Pavelski added on. I'm not too interested in those three hut lives, honestly. Uh, next up, 70k. I do like a solid amount of coins. 
Eric Lindros. Don't exactly know how much he's going for. Brian Boyle, he's about 20k maybe, 20 to 30. Bo uh, Eberly and 5k. Uh, I will delay it. I'm not exactly sure how much uh, Eberly is going for. Uh, but next up, we got Ben Parise and Cox. Uh, ben is around, I think, 30 right now, right? 30. Same with Parise, just around 30. I can reject that straight up. Not bad players, but uh, Matt Duchesne's just the player that hasn't gone down in value that much. Uh, Camilleri, Bogosian, Mashan, the Carolina Hurricanes uh, Arena. No, I don't want that shit. Uh, Boyle, Eberly, gotta check that. Pavel Dadsu, we already checked kind of his value. He's around 40 to 45k. Martin St. Louis, Lucic. No thanks for that deal. And then next up, we got Corey Perry. He's going for around 75, so I can delay that. And Anze Kopitar, I will reject that deal. So, I'm going to take a look at these five players, and I'm going to check out their values. So, be right back. All right, so I got to take a couple looks at some of the values of the players. And I want to apologize to the guy that I rejected the Giroux and Ben deal. Uh, that actually, that offer wasn't that half bad, so I apologize about that. But then again, these, there are some offers in here that are a little bit better after I calculate it. So we're going to see if we're going to take any of these offers, these five more that we have in here. But next up, we got Claude Drew, Rick Nash, and Fleury. Giroux is going for 38k. Rick Nash is going for just about 27, which gives you 55. With the coins, gives you about 58. With Marc-Andre Fleury, gives you about 82k on the dot. So that is a pretty good deal. Next up, 70k. We can reject it because we know those three players are worth a little bit more. Eric Lindros is worth about 50k, so you're getting about 75 which we can reject as well. It was not a bad offer, but only if he added in a little bit more, I would have taken it. But Brian Boyle and Eberly, not the most expensive deal. Eberly is about 25k, so that deal added up to about 50. And Corey Perry is actually going for 87k right now. And after all of this, I think I'm going to take the Corey Perry straight up. It's a high overall. He's on the right position. And I think I can sell, I can sell him for 85k just about. So I'm going to take that deal. Enjoy your Matt Duchesne. He's a great player. I will take gladly take your Corey Perry. And we're still at 86k. We have Corey Perry now. And we're moving on to Bergeron. Alright, so we're going on to Bergeron. And Bergeron has 9 deals on him. We've got a couple troll trades here, of course, to start it off. Racine, Fox, Severson. More like 7 deals, maybe. Uh, Carlson, I don't exactly know how much he's going for. I know he received a... Uh, did he receive a team of the year? Not exactly sure. Uh, I'll right trigger it. Luke Robitaille and Gabrick. I don't exactly want Luke Robitaille, but I will delay it. I will check the value. Uh, Ryan Kessler in 12.5, not bad. 33k. We got 30k in Coburn. We can reject that. The 32k is just a little bit better. And we got 11k, Sharp, Howard, and Stepan. Unfortunately, I don't really like this offer compared to all the other ones. And just the only good player here is Sharp that has value. And Howard and Stepan, they got, those guys aren't worth too much, so I apologize about that one. And then we also got Claude Giroux, who's going for around 38k. So that seems like a pretty fair deal. Anyways, I'm going to look at some more values here. Give me one sec. Alright, so we're back to Bergeron with five trade offers. And right off the bat, uh, I'm going to reject the 33k because I know there's some better offers in here that's worth about 40. Uh, Carlson deal is worth about 33k, so I can reject that deal straight up. Uh, Bergeron, uh, once again, Luke Robitaille and Marion Gabrick. Uh, Robitaille is going for around 20k. Gabrick's going for around 4 to 5 maybe. So I can reject that as well. That's going for around 25, 26 uh, the Kessler deal is about 32, so I can reject that as well. And the final de deal here is Claude Giroux. And Claude Giroux, like I said, is going for around 38k, and that's the most expensive um, offer here. So I'm going to take that deal. Enjoy your Patrice Bergeron. I will take the Claude Giroux. And now let's move on to John Carlson Team of the Week. Alright, so we're starting up this game. I just want to let you guys know that there will be a small giveaway at the end. That, uh, that's the game. Hard score. So look out for that. And let's